What's up everyone, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today we're diving into the world of streaming with a detailed review of the brand new Elgato Facecam MK2. Uh, this cam is priced at $209 Canadian. Uh, the Elgato Facecam MK2 positioned itself as a mid-range option for users looking for a high-quality webcam but don't necessarily need the 4K. So stay till the end to find out uh, if it lives up to its premises. So the Elgato, well known for its quality streaming equipment, has launched the new uh, Facecam MK2, uh, an upgrade of their previous model, the original Facecam. It promises a better image quality, more features, and greater ease of use. Let's take a closer look. So let's talk a little bit about the spec. The Facecam MK2 features a full HD sensor that captures video at uh, 1080p at 60fps, ensuring smooth and detailed images. With a 82 degree field of view, it offers a wide enough frame to capture your setup without too much distortion. The Elgato Facecam MK2 supports HDR also video capture, thus delivering exceptionally high quality visual image with more vibrant color and improved contrast. This webcam also ensures a non-compressed video transmission at 1080p 60fps, maintaining a maximum clarity and smoothness without quality loss. It connects via USB-C, ensuring a fast data transfer and compatibility with your PC or a Mac. And uh, with the previous uh, face cam, I had some issues. Sometimes my uh, webcam was freezing, so I had to change the, the, the USB cable, and I didn't have the issue with this uh, webcam. One of the highlights of this webcam, it is for sure the software, the Elgato Camera Hub. This software allows extensive customization, adjusting exposure, white balance, saturation, and even zoom, all without losing image quality. It's pretty amazing. And also you can connect with uh, your stream deck, so it's pretty easy to use. It also features a built-in memory that saves your setting directly on the webcam, perfect for those who uh, use multiple setup, travel, or need to format their PC a lot. So let's move on to the test and performance. I use the Facecam MK2 in various lighting conditions from studio lightning to dimmer setting. It consistently uh, maintains high image quality thanks to its powerful sensor that dynamically adjusts exposure. Uh, the color captured by the Facecam MK2 remains beautiful and vivid even in low light condition. And although the camera does not offer autofocus and require uh, staying within the maximum range of like a distance of 4 feet, uh, this limitation turns into an advantage as it never lose focus unlike many other webcams on the market. So now I'm going to do a comparison between the original Elgato facecam that was my current main webcam versus the MK2. So now in the camera up software from Elgato, we're going to compare both the original facecam versus the MK2. I want to mention I didn't custom anything. Everything will be automatic as you can see over there. So it's pretty much default. You bought your uh, webcam, you plug in on your computer and this is what you're seeing. So the first one, the Elgato face cam, as you can see, not great. It's a very good webcam when you customize it. So when you decide to uh, white balance by yourself, exposure by yourself, even the picture, it's really good. But automatic, this is pretty much the result. Now let's go to the MK2. So now, gonna take some time to load. As you can see, it's a lot better. So uh, pretty much default, same thing. It's automatic. Uh, so you have a really good result. If you don't like that, you can like the face cam, uh, uh, the original one. You can move your ISO, your shutter speed. You can also use the HDR if you want. Honestly, really impressed by the improvement you also have some kind of like zoom fov with preset over there so it, it can be cool if you're a streamer you want four different preset uh you can map it easily with your stream deck so really cool also the face tracking if you want to use the feature from nvidia you can match it with your elgato so honestly when you compare it i'm gonna put it again on the original one automatic versus automatic 
you see a big difference. Right now, I'm just using a key light air, a one, one uh, key light air, not two. And uh, the light is on my wall, so it's not directly in my face. So as you can see, the original one struggled a little bit with the low light. Uh, so you, you also, the noise reduction is not very great if you compare with the MK2. If I go back to the MK2, a lot better with the low light. And also you can uh, change uh, the post-processing. Post sorry, uh, you have a couple of options if you want to remove the noise reduction. You can if you want to be more aggressive. You can do it like you want. By default, it's at medium. So honestly, big difference between both. So let's go to my conclusion. So before the conclusion, I want to compare the pros and cons. So first of all, excellent HDR image quality. Honestly, uh, the MK2 provide a superior HDR image quality, ensuring vivid colors and optimized contrast, even in the most challenging uh, light condition. Also, I want to mention the uncompressed video. It's pretty cool that it can support 1080p, 60fps, 720p, uh, 120fps if you want, you need that. But uh, the uncompressed video is a cool uh, feature. The fixed focus for me is a big plus. Uh, it's a webcam. You don't want to just take your webcam and go everywhere and you need a focus. It's for streaming or if you're doing some content with YouTube, it's always focus on you. I want to mention also the exceptional software. Honestly, the Elgato Camera Hub software with which this uh, webcam operates is truly impressive, offering a multitude of customization options so you can get the perfect image according to your need. It looks like you have a D DLSR a camera, but in a webcam. The last one is the smart design. Honestly, its new design is not just aesthetic. It is also functional with a structure uh, that easily integrate into any streaming setup while being robust and durable and also low profile if you compare it with the face cam. If we're talking about the cons, however, there are some downside to uh, note. Uh, the first concern, the privacy cover, which is, is quite tricky to handle. If you're someone who frequently adjusts this cover, it could be a source of irritation, like moving your camera, moving a little bit your setup. The second weak point is the USB cable. Its stiffness can make optical camera positioning difficult, especially in cramped space or complex setup. This might uh, necessitate uh, purchasing an additional, more flexible cable for some user. In conclusion, the Elgato Facecam MK2 is an excellent webcam for serious streamer or professional looking for the best quality possible without any compromise and if you don't need also the 4K. If budget is not an issue for you, it is definitely a great choice. For me, it's a 9 out of 10. Um, it's a pretty good webcam. It, it will be my new main. It will just... Uh, I'm gonna move my face cam somewhere else. So, really good camera. That's it for today. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell to not miss any of my future videos. Do you have uh, any question about the face cam MKDU or need an advice for your streaming setup? Leave a comment below. See you soon and peace.